Hi, I'm Andy. Uh, uh, this is uh, the fifth video in our series about um, exciting things uh, about JavaScript that uh, you should probably avoid. Uh, today I'm talking about arithmetic uh, and the parsint function. Before I get started, I just want to say um, I use JavaScript. I really enjoy using JavaScript. It's a really great language. You've just got to watch your step. You've just got to learn a few rules. You're going to love it too. So, here's a sum for you. Um, everyone knows the answer to this sum. What's 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2? Of course, the answer is 0 0.3000 and so on. 4. Um, well, actually, um, it's arguable whether this is a WTF at all. So, um, uh, the designers of JavaScript uh, adopted the IEEE standard uh, for arithmetic. Perhaps what's a WTF here is that when I type this into Firebug, it prints out this insane value instead of rounding it. Um, or perhaps that's okay too. Uh, but be aware, um, numbers don't come out the way you think. Um, the uh, decimals are not exact. Um, integers are exact in uh, IEEE arithmetic, so um, nothing too surprising will happen with integers. Okay, so on to parsint. Um, there's a function built into JavaScript called parsint which takes a string and it gives you an int back. Bear in mind that this int is of type number because there is only one number type. Um, so that number is actually is a floating point, but it's a, uh, as I just said, integers can be represented exactly in in, uh, in that floating point representation, so it's okay. Anyway, uh, when we parse the string 1, 5, we get back 15. Fair enough. When we parse this string 15 and a half, what do we get back? What do you think? Well, no matter what you think, we get back 15, and that's not unreasonable. Um, quite a few functions of this sort have this behavior. Basically, when you hit something that isn't a numeral, uh, we stop. Um, there's no indication that anything went wrong, which, well, maybe it did, maybe it didn't. I would have preferred some kind of way of finding that out. Um, when you parse this string, twice 32, what's the result? What do you think? What should be the result? Well, the result is none. That means not a number. Um, so we hit a non-numeral character um, before we'd hit any numerals. So this time we bail out, having done nothing. We get back none. Uh, what about this? Right. Well, this is 15 again. Yeah, it's the same as the one at the top. Well, some of you might have a doubt in your mind if you've done any. Uh, any of the curly bracket languages, and you would be absolutely right. So, um, if you parse a string which starts with a zero into an integer, um, the zero indicates to JavaScript that you are talking octal. And in octal, uh, one five is 13, and then we see the decimal representation of 13, which is a one and a three. Um, scary, huh? Imagine you had a spreadsheet where someone had typed some numbers in. Can you be sure your spreadsheet doesn't put a zero before any of those numbers? Maybe you can. Uh, fortunately, there's a way out. Okay, so the way out is whenever you call the parsint function, you supply the base you want it to use. And normally that will be 10. So learn this rule. Type comma space one zero after whatever you want in parsint, telling it use base 10. And uh, no WTFs will. And that's it for today.